So the number one question type should be of no surprise, and that is conservation of energy. The key is you look at like what energy there is at a certain location. So whether that's kinetic, whether that's gravitational potential, spring potential, or both. And then you just say, well, whatever the energy is there, it's going to be the same somewhere else. For example, let's say you have a mass moving, it goes up a ramp, it has kinetic energy down here. Let's say, you know, you calculate it and you get like 10 joules, for instance. And up here, you know, it slows down. Let's say you calculate the kinetic energy to be uh, 3 joules. Well, you know that it must have gained a potential energy of 7 joules. Or let's say you have a mass up here, has potential energy, gravitational, and let's say it falls down onto, say, a spring, right? And it's going to compress it a certain amount. And now it has spring potential. Or here's a favorite, you have a mass moving with say kinetic energy and it bumps into a spring and it compresses the spring a certain distance and now it turns into spring potential. Or what about a rolling problem? What if you have a ball that's rolling down a ramp? Let's say it starts at rest, so it has gravitational potential, and then it rolls down. And now at the bottom, it has both translational kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy. So anyways, that's about it. That's all you need to do. Just make sure you notice all the types of energies at certain locations. Maybe we can just summarize some. We have gravitational potential energy, that's MGH. We have spring potential, that's 1 half kx squared. We have a translational kinetic energy, that's 1 one half mv squared. We have rotational kinetic energy. That's one half i omega squared. One last thing you might see also is um, work. In work, we'll usually either add energy or remove energy. So for example, let's say this ball is rolling. Let's say it has like five joules of each. And let's say you're right here and you want to stop the ball. Well, you would need to do work of 10 joules to stop the ball. So it's not exactly energy. Really, it's transferring energy into different types but sometimes you will have to think about work as well.